Hello, friends, and welcome to your weekly meditation. Find that elongated spine. I sometimes refer to it as the neutral spine, right? Neutral is a range of motion. However, when we're in stillness, we'd love to have those bones stack upon each other with the natural curves intact as much as possible, right? And, and having a little bit of kindness and compassion if that's not as accessible, first thing. We've been playing with bringing our awareness down to the buttocks bones. Actually, I'm gonna say the tailbone today. Bring your awareness to the tailbone and the crown of the head, those two points on opposite ends of the torso, yeah? And when you inhale, just think of the space between those two expanding, whatever that means to you. And keeping that space as much as you can, you'll exhale and soften any tension. And just continue that for a few breaths. I'll repeat it one more time. Crown of the head and the tailbone are your two points of um, awareness. Every time you inhale, try to create space and expansion between those two points. Maintain the expansion as much as you can. Exhale, soften any tension. part of the body that it's particularly helpful to soften is the eye, the muscles around the eye. And we've been practicing thinking of looking through our eyes with kindness. If that doesn't accessible you can think of a loved one or a loved being right who you would look at with kindness And turning that kindness inward as well towards yourself. Whatever happened before you sat down on the cushion, whatever you have to do when you get up, right? any of those things, just letting that go right now and just being kind to yourself, giving yourself the space and time. Bring your awareness into the very center of the shoulders. And think of softening from the inside out. And bringing the awareness now down into your hands and again all the way down into the bones and think of softening from inside the bones all the way by the marrow all the way out to the skin Bringing the awareness into the inside of the feet and softening from inside the feet out. Mm -hmm. 
bring the awareness up into the hips from inside the hips fascia. Deep inside, soften from inside out. Bringing that awareness up into the abdomen. From deep inside the abdomen amongst all abdomen amongst your organs, right? Softening even the organs as if you could imagine you can, right? All the way out to the surface of the skin. With that loving kindness. And bring that awareness up into the middle of the thoracic cavity. You can think of that being around the heart, in the center of the chest, and slowly softening through all of the organs, tissue, skin, bone, ribs. And then bring the awareness up and we're gonna actually go the opposite direction. What I mean by that is bring your awareness to the head, right? And then centralize your focus between the eyebrows. You can notice any sensation or energetic feel in that area. And then we're gonna go in towards the center of our mind and we're gonna spend much of the rest of the meditation there. So I want you to imagine that you have two lines, imaginary lines that you're drawing, one from between your eyebrows towards the back of the head. The second line is above one ear to above the other ear. And where those two intersect is where we'll meet. So slide your awareness back on that first line from between the eyebrows until it intersects with that line above the ears. And I'm gonna call that the center of your mind. So try to maintain your awareness there as much as you can. Of course, it is going to probably go off in other directions and that is okay. Just bring it on back when you realize it. And then most of us have had the sensation of when we yawn, how the mouth gets a little bit bigger and all of the <clears throat> muscles in the mouth widen and relax and soften. So I want you to imagine that this center of the mind has that yawning quality. It widens and it softens for your awareness to settle right in the center of that. Kind of like a little cocoon. And from this place, I want you to imagine that there's someone you love sitting across the table from you. And this, this doesn't have to take place in the cocoon. The table can be just an image outside of you. We're just accessing this part of ourselves. So imagine someone you love, a being that you love, sitting across the table from you. And inside your head, in your imagination, you're going to say them, say to them, may you be well. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be happy. May you be free.
And again, we're communicating that from this very inner part of us. And inside that center of the mind, no one else lives, no harsh voices, critical voices, no parents' expectations to live up to. So from that place, we're communicating to this person. And then you can let that dissipate. And now in that imagination in front of you at that table, I'd like you to put someone that you that you just don't really have much of a relationship with, but who you would extend kindness to, right? Maybe a grocery store clerk, or you know, if there's someone you see every day on the bus or in the car or at the front door, right? Just someone who you don't necessarily know that well, but you don't have any conflicting feelings for. And imagine them sitting down. And saying to them the same words, I'll go through them again. May you be well. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be happy. And may you be free. And let's go ahead and let that dissipate. If you want to imagine them getting up and walking away from the table or the image just slowly dissipates or whatever that is, it's your, it's your visualization. Okay. And now bring in someone that you're struggling with and not, nothing too huge, right? Maybe just someone that challenges you a little bit or said a mean thing to you or that you said a mean thing to you, right? Just someone who is not too triggering, but whom you struggle with. Imagine that person sitting across from you and saying to them, may you be well. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be happy. And may you be free. And let that imagery dissipate in whatever way you would like. And I would, admit, uh, I would love you to imagine yourself, right? the version of you sitting across the table from yourself, looking yourself in the eyes and using those same words, right? wishing that for ourselves from this innermost place, may you be well, may you be peaceful and at ease, may you be happy. And may you be free. And then just taking a few moments while we're here with this image of ourselves. Right? And maybe just taking a few moments and knowing that, that we're on the journey that we're supposed to be on. Or if you don't know that, that's okay. Take a moment and try to have faith in that. Right? That we can always look at someone else's life and think that would be better. But ultimately, the path we are on is our very own path. And it doesn't have a timeline. And it doesn't have expectations. We are not 
worse than anybody else, but we are also not better than anybody else. And the phrase I say to myself an awful lot is, I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. That one's easy to remind ourselves, I think, when, when we have the positive things happening. I think it's also important to remind ourselves that when we're in the difficult places, I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. And you can let that image of yourself dissipate. Come right back into that center of the mind area if you were somewhere else. Let's meet there. Each of us in our own center, of course. And then the last thing I'd like to add in is, you know, this is the home of perception. Many other things intuition right knowing perception discernment but i'm bringing us to the perception piece because i think also we perceive other people's material items lives spouses right you name it to be better than our own and so i feel like this is the place we can come and take a few moments here and work with that perception. Remembering that everybody suffers. And that we're all on our own path. And again, trying to work with that idea, that perception, that having faith that where you are at is the path that you are supposed to be on. Bring those hands together, but in front of the heart, bring your thumbs up to that third eye center and just lightly touch your thumbs into the third eye center. And come with me if you don't mind. You're going to bring your fingertips right into the middle of your forehead. And as you start to move the hands away from one another, I want you to imagine, if you will, that you have a curtain there, right? And we're going to really gently open that curtain, that veil, right? That sometimes, <laughs> often for me, right, is where all my illusion lies. I have that veil. <laughs> so maybe just thinking of that opening a curtain or a veil for you so that your perception, your intuition, your discernment, is available. Bring the hands in front of the heart now. Take an inhale. Exhale, bowing the head into the heart. And just take in a moment of gratitude that you gave yourself this space and time. I feel like of almost all the practices that I do and that I teach, this is the most difficult one for the majority of us. Sitting in stillness. Namaste. And may all beings everywhere be well. <laughs>